The film slash crew review, The Good Boys. It's a little film coming to good you boys, good with a bit boys. of a review what from us two, The Good Boys. Do John's not here, he's a bad boy. Hey team, Angus Dragon here, welcome to, to the, the Film, film Slice podcast. podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, man formerly mm. known as Brody Lidu, yeah, Bro, 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 Richard. This week, he is known as... Bobbo. 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 <laughs> no particular reason. <laughs> nothing to do with the film, <laughs> nothing to do with anything I've got set up for the podcast. Absolutely nothing to do with a single thing. First thing came to my mind. <laughs> cool, Bobbo. And uh, we normally have our uh, other co-host, Kane Diggly Wiggly Kane Dogs. Uh, oh, over in the corner. Oh, it's me, Kane Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah He's changed nationalities a bit but that's that's all good uh, hope everyone's uh, done uh, done well this week yeah. it, we right. were in a bit of a uh, slump for yeah. a couple of weeks we might just uh, mention that off the top we didn't have any new movies to review but yeah. we are back with a new movie called uh, Good Boys The Good Boys The Good Boys uh, Kane Dogs TGB you want to hit us up with that IMDB summary summary <laughs> Yeah, I can do up with that don't be summary. <laughs> now now that he's cleared his throat. What are we saying? Put out his yeah. Stop smoking, will you? You should stop smoking, man. <laughs> it doesn't do good for you for your voice. Never no. smoked it down a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Three sixth grade boys ditch school and embark on an epic journey while carrying accidentally stolen drugs being hunted by teenage girls and trying to make their way home in time for a long-awaited party. An epic journey it certainly was. Uh, sweet. Uh, when did you see the movie? What did you bloody think? When did you see the movie? What did you think? <laughs> Do you like the movie? No, <laughs> <of> the shit. <laughs> when did you see the movie and what did you think? John, get your face out of the sink. Hey. I'm in. Kane Dogs, when did you see the movie, what did you think? I saw the movie mm. last night with Brody. And Who's I that? My name's Bobbo. Hated it. Uh, look, his his it, name or <laughs> the movie? I hated his name. <laughs> I hate everything about it. No, I hated the movie. Look, it's you not... You didn't even fucking watch it. <laughs> look, I may have fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, no. A few times. Okay, so when you say you hated it... No, well, here's the thing. I he went in what he saw. <laughs> cool, no, cool, well, cool. I went in being like, this is probably going to be one of those kind of frat boy kind of films, like bloody... <laughs> Sixth grade frat boys. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the whole point. Like, that's the pun of the film, right? So it's mm. sort of... What is it? Um, what's the one that started it all? Super bad. Super bad. It's just that. Lord of the Rings. And the thing is, is I don't <laughs> the care. The Bible. I don't, <laughs> the Bible. I don't care for the one that started it all. I don't care for the humour of, like, the just bike. that genre. And so I went into this movie being like, well, maybe it'll surprise me. But after about sort of the 25-minute mark, I went, nah, this is pretty much going to be what I know I it is. I fell asleep. <laughs> well, I didn't fall asleep and then sleep three hours and hours. I right. fell asleep for, like, 10 minutes, then woke up, and then fell asleep, and then woke up. And it's just every time, like, for what I saw, which was most of it, I just <laughs> couldn't, like, just <laughs> none of the jokes hit me. So I just didn't care about it. Fair enough. Uh, bye bye. What do you see? Hey. What do you think? I saw it last night with Buddy Fappo over there. Um, and <laughs> not my name. And I thought it was yeah, I thought it was pretty average. There was some bits that I was like, that's pretty funny, but there were bits where no one else laughed. And so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, ah, oh, these are, <laughs> these are not the jokes that I guess are meant to be landing. So uh, yeah, it was it was pretty average. Fair enough. Uh, I saw the movie on Friday, so that was three days, two days ago. Two days ago, I Sunday now. Um, yeah, I saw, I saw the movie three days ago, and uh, <laughs> I really, I, I have a real soft spot for Seth Rogen produced things and right. Seth Rogen movies. It's like it's it's almost like a guilty pleasure kind of a thing. Like I know the movies aren't the best. But his, yeah, all the stuff that he's in or he's produced or everything, they've got this certain kind of flavor to them. And this definitely has that as well. Like, it's a different setting and everything. But I, yeah, I quite quietly enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And I stayed awake. Which is hey, <laughs> That makes one out of the two of you. Did you stay awake, Bobo? Yeah. Cool. cool of course. Cool, cool. Okay. I'm not going to fall asleep. I'm, I'm not a child. <laughs> uh, apart from me, you're the only person who will fall asleep. In a film. You fell asleep during block. Show me proof. Uh, we've literally <laughs> got it recorded. We've got you Bring it up right now. Did. Bring it up right now. If not, you okay. will forever be known as right. not having proof. 
You got 10 seconds. No, oh, fuck yeah. Nine. <laughs> eight. No, moving on. I can't. Okay. Go on All first. right, we're moving on. Lads, you know how every week I put up on Instagram yep. uh, what movie we're reviewing and I get our lovely audience, our slicey slices out there to uh, comment in on their thoughts on the particular film. Yep. Um, yep. And normally no one replies. Um, <clears throat> well, guess what? What? We got some replies. <laughs> Uh, so. I was stuck in a tunnel for a second. <laughs> okay, so from uh, first comment from the Star Spangled Fan. Hey. Brody's a dumb idiot, but liquor who eats farts and shits piss. Also, shout out to Todd, who is maybe listening. Uh, Just butt liquor, I think you'll find. No, I don't think that's what it, it says. says. But but with two T's, is it meant to be? As in, like, a bottom? No, no. No, no, oh, it's just like, oh, but liquor. Yeah. Okay, cool. But also, uh, yes. <laughs> Clearly bottom. Thank you for ruining that. Okay. Brody's a dumb idiot, but liquor. But liquor. eats farts uh, and shits piss. Also, shout out to Todd, who is maybe listening. Just not how you thought, spell Todd either. Just thought he deserves a shout out for listening to almost every episode. If that's true, Todd... Thank you. Good effort. Yeah. You've done yeah, cheers, better than everyone, <coughs> including than, me. Better than most. <laughs> <laughs> than all of us, yeah. Uh, next, we've got from not.filmslice.host. Not. Says, good boys. More like shit boys. Hey. Very good. Hooverman91 says, at not.filmslice.host. Says, shit boys. More like shit bits. Hey. Okay. Don't next, really we've got... Not uh, replying to that. Not film slash dot host at Hooverman ninety one. Shit bits more like Jordan should get a haircut. The gorilla fuck. <laughs> That's a bit mean. Uh, I'm unnecessarily brutal. Me there. <laughs> I, I'm well groomed. I don't know what <laughs> man. What is going on here? If, if only but liquor, it would have been fine. <laughs> uh, sweet. Last time I tried to get involved. <laughs> Like Kano, you, uh, you do it on Facey. I do do the Facey. Excellent. <laughs> do I've do. done the Facey many a time. Super. Anyone hit you up on Facey? Yeah, we did get a we got a bite. Excellent. Ooh, one of them Facebook bites. <laughs> one of the old Facebook bites. This is nibble. from Kirby bit. Hines. Uh, wasn't as good as the ads made it look. Marketing team, well done. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's fair. Up, up. Is that a well done to our marketing team? I or think so. I'd like to take team? that. I'd I like think we take should take that, that as a compliment. On behalf of the marketing team of the yeah. Film Slice Podcast, I would on like the, to take that. On behalf <laughs> yeah. of the marketing team for the good boys, I would also like to take that. If you're listening, marketing team, Andrew, James, Elise, you guys are doing great. Trevor. That being said, I totally... Uh, I always intern. forget Trevor. Sorry, yeah. Trevor. I totally agree He's with, just an intern. I agree with Kirby, though. I saw some of these ads and I was like, you know what? Maybe it'll be okay. Because Seth Rogen starts the trailer by being like, look, guys, you're not allowed to watch the trailer to your own movie. Mm. And it was pretty funny. That's the funniest joke to come out of this film. So, yeah, I agree with Kirby. The, the ad was better. Fair enough. Uh, bro, bro, you look after Twitter. <laughs> Name's Bobo. Really. Bobo? Yeah, that's what I said. Yep. I look after Twitter. Bobo, you look um, after Twitter. By the way, before we get into it, yeah. um, we had problems last week, didn't we? We did have some problems. Um, they're all fixed up now. They're all yeah. good. Um, kind of. Basically, uh, we got banned from Twitter, but we got a two-week suspension uh, this week, so it's a little bit different. So our Twitter accounts will be coming back next week. Oh, uh, but good. for this week, I've decided to, you know, branch out, try out some new uh, social media accounts. So okay. I've gone a bit of a different route this week. Um, so we've got uh, I've shit on MySpace. Um, that's our MySpace. Uh, I've shit. <laughs> um, we've got when I put the dryer on, I always put it on Tumblr. Um, that's what we've got for Tumblr. And then we've got uh, <laughs> my nudes are on Snapchat. So that's what we've got for Snapchat. So if you can go to any one of them <laughs> and uh, get in contact with us, Follow, yeah. tell us about some films, yeah. maybe you can recommend something to us. Yeah. Head over to my nudes are on. Yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. You didn't do it right, but it was close enough. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Sweet. So obviously no one hit us up. On, no, the suspended the account can't, yeah. can't access it for the two weeks. Yeah. But if you leave, I think if you can leave a message, we will see it after the two weeks. Cool. So, so we won't go. put it on the podcast, but you know, yeah. it might be might be good just, just yeah. to leave it in. Yeah. Sweet. For that. Anyway, that's what our Slice of Slices thought of this week of Good Boys, the movie that we're reviewing in okay. this podcast so, right now. So, because the three of us have known each other since before sixth grade, similar to the Good Boys in this film. Yes. They had a group name named the Beanbag, the Beanbag Boys. Boys. What would our name be? Uh, the sleeping bag boys, except one of us is our sleeping bag, was fucking impossible to roll up. So, my dad always had to roll up Agnes' sleeping bag, because it was the fucking worst. 
That's your name. This feels very personal. <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really a team. Do you remember I, yeah. that Angus had a I, sleeping bag I, that was I impossibly guess I wasn't compact? Really a big nope. part of the group. <laughs> I remember your nope. sleeping bag was impossibly compact. Yeah. I feel like you've it just was, got some yeah. pent up anger towards <laughs> Angus. I do because about his sleeping bag. Because every time it was time to pack up the sleeping bag, instead of being like, "Oh, we'll pack up, we'll play all the way up until the start of the go, and then we'll quickly pack up," Angus had to wake up and spend an hour and a half packing up his sleeping bag, and it was the worst. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, there you Jeez. go. Is that a good answer, bro? <laughs> no, <laughs> not a good answer, but bloody, bloody good tidbit. All right, there we go. Yeah. I'm just gonna go um, and reflect upon my childhood yeah, now. We'll, and we'll, I guess we'll all. You wasted everyone's it. time, Angus. That's all I'm saying. We will forever not have a group name, unfortunately. Cool. I mean, we are the film size podcast, aren't we? <laughs> Throw it over to you, Angus. Uh, so, sweet. So, uh, next segment. Would you recommend it? Who would you recommend it to? Would you recommend this film and to whom? Sure, I'll go first. Uh, <laughs> to anybody who loves all of those, in my brain they're generic, but maybe they're not. To to those, I call them like frat boy movies. But the the bloody fuck, what was the last Bad Neighbors and basically Seth Rogen films. If you're a fan of Sausage Party and you're a fan of bloody all of those films, mm. then this one to me feels like another one. So sure, if you like those, you'll probably like this. If like me you don't find that humour all that funny. This is that watered down, which I found worse. So, yeah, none, not, not a lot of this movie really hit for me, and if you're anything like me, it won't hit for you. Fair enough. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs> would you recommend it? Who would you recommend it to? Um, I, I don't know. This is... Why? <laughs> this is so not my kind of uh, humor, so I don't know who I'd. Re- if this was your, co- if you saw the ads and you're like, "That's exactly my kind of humor," then you're probably going to get something out of it because it's pretty much the same jokes repeated throughout. But it's really not my kind of humor, so I, I'm having trouble kind of recommending Recommend. it. <laughs> I would, I, yeah. So I, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone unless you knew it was your type of humor. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally agree. It's not. It's definitely not for everyone. Um, which is obviously very tricky. We'll get into we'll get into it in cinema dicks, but there are a few people in my cinema that definitely should not have been in the cinema. Um, it is a very kind of niche demographic, but yeah, again, if you if you like the, that kind of Seth Rogen esque style of films, um, then yeah. Go How for old it. are the boys meant to be in this movie? Sixth grade, grade grade six. So. 12, 12, yeah. 11, 12. Great. So if you're 11 or 12, go see this movie. No. no. Um, <laughs> don't. Yeah. Demographic. Don't. Demographic. Please don't. Uh, sweet. Anything else before we head on into spoilers? No. Ah, cool. Sweet. Sound the alarm. Oh, what a cool, 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 cool sound effect, Angus. <laughs> All right. We're in the spoiler section where we dissect and divulge everything about the film. So you've been warned. Rest in place. Shame. Rest in place. Rest in place. Yeah. Rest, rest, in, rest in police. Rest your uh, pleats. <laughs> rest your pleats. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Starting off with Cinema Dicks. Anyone got a Cinema Dick? I have a big one. Uh, if you guys <laughs> would allow me to go first. Go for it. Sure. I don't know what I did. <laughs> um, for well, the I mean, first time. <laughs> for the first time in all of my movie going experiences with Jordan. He was not the cinema dick uh, in the cinema. <laughs> yes! <laughs> even um, though he fell asleep. Even though he fell long. asleep continuously throughout the cinema. <laughs> did I snore? Um, no. Yeah. So? This time. Tick one, um, not a dick. Tick two, my sleep apnea is fixed. Tick Did three, it. got a dick. Okay, so <laughs> my cinema dick for this film is whoever th- uh, decided to throw M&Ms at me and Jordan throughout the entire cinema, oh, which he did not know <laughs> because he slept through. <laughs> <laughs> and I deliberately haven't talked to him about it until now because I knew he did not know <laughs> this. <laughs> M&M. Someone was throwing M and M's at us. Oh, we should have caught them. It hit me a number of times. I'm like, it's like they're M and M's. I didn't hurt or anything, but it was just, it was just one of those things. Where like, oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, I it's, wonder oh, if it's an maybe, M&M. maybe, and I there didn't... was definitely a few M and M's that hit Jordan while really? he was asleep, and it was amazing. <laughs> oh, uh, damn! If I find you, I know what you look like. <laughs> I will kick your ass. I am not bluffing. Oh man, Angus Cinema Dick. <laughs> Oh, I've that got was, one. That was Apparently, movie. some dick was throwing M and M's at me while yeah. I was sleeping, and I was just trying to have a nap. So, <laughs> what a waste of M and M's! What a dick, Angus. My favorite thing is you didn't notice. <laughs> Do if there is stained M and M's on my jacket, I'll be very angry. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, I had a few cinema dicks. Um, mostly just a bunch of really young kids coming in with parents to watch this movie. 
thinking that it's like it's obviously this mom that's been stressed out because she's have to she has to look after 12 kids and like what am i gonna do it's right. gonna take him to the movies we're gonna watch oh, a movie all the sex and they toy chose, jokes like, and <laughs> good boys like oh no uh yeah so that was a, a touch uncomfortable there's so uh, many animated films out right now as well yeah yeah like, exactly. don't see any of those yeah am i i mean you know People went to see Sausage Fest, I guess, as well. It, like on the same kind of shtick. Yeah, but that had so, so sausage many warnings. Party, not Sausage Fest. <laughs> That's a different one. <laughs> that was Angus's <Hankerson's> last weekend. <laughs> yeah, he went down to the local D box. He got that film. A lot of kids okay. there, which was uncomfortable for him. Quick, quick little anecdote that I, I want to put in is when Sausage Fest came out. I used to work at the cinemas during that time. That it, Sausage Party, sorry, came out. When, <laughs> yeah, Sausage when, Fest and Sausage when, Party, when, different, when, little, different when, times. Yeah, he different, was working, okay. different when they both he was came working out. two jobs at once. Okay, so when Sausage Party came out, I was working in the cinemas, um, and part of the job was you'd go out and announce the movie was about to go in so you know you collect the people and so one of my friends went out to the to the foyer and just announced sausage fest is about to start so <laughs> oh. anyone here for that <laughs> oh great um it's just one which is doing at the back <laughs> I'm here. yeah I'll that's come. It. i'm here for sausage fest <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know i was until you said so but now i'm right uh, up for it. um oh it's uncomfortable yeah. in people's ears <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, that was <laughs> that was my little story. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, best things about the film, Kane Dogs. Okay. What was yeah. Your look, favorite part, um, Mister Sleep Through the Film. <laughs> look, I saw most of it. I reckon I could pretty accurately recite most of what happened, apart from the parts that recite I fell asleep through. No. So <laughs> I think most of the third act I enjoyed. Where did um, the third act start, John? I think once they got to the party. From there onwards, I found parts of this movie to enjoy because the kids felt like they had actual emotional depth and character growth and it felt like there was a reason for me to be watching this film. But I also feel like if you put the first 10 minutes and then the third act there, you'd have the same movie because nothing happened in the middle. Um, But when all three of them sort of realise that they need to be able to grow separately in order to still be happy and then learn how to maintain the friendships, that for me is maybe the only valuable thing to come out of this movie. Um, And I found that really, really cool. I think that's a really cool lesson to walk away with. If if you saw this film and you're like 14 or 15, and you probably shouldn't have, but at the same time, I was watching (laughs) films like this when I was 14 or 15. If that's the lesson you're going to come away with, being at that age where it's so hard to sort of balance your friendships and becoming the person you want to be, that's a really good lesson to walk away with. So I enjoyed that aspect of this movie. That, and I really liked The Cop, because I just <laughs> like, I just, one of my favourite tropes in a film is just a guy who's just so over the day, and like bad things keep someone happening. Someone in an authority position yeah, who, just, who can't, just can't be fucked. Who just can't be fucked. I just find that really funny. Um, I, uh, yeah. I would have preferred like the entire movie to just be that guy finishing his shift, and then for him to just keep getting shit to deal with. Because it was just like, look, I should probably do something about it, but you're young, you're kids, I'll let it slide. And then they did something else and he's like, fuck, just (laughs) look, I'll let that slide too. But one more thing. And it was one more thing. And he was like, get out of my sight. I'm not a cop. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. I found We have drugs. No, you don't. No, you don't. Go away. (laughs) That and um, (laughs) the dynamic of the family that were getting divorced, the mum and dad. Yeah, yeah. I found that funny. Like, the story arc, not so much, but yeah. their chemistry and the dad, I found really funny. And Stephen Merchant mm. is in this movie. And yes, he's, he was, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> Those are all the things that I liked about this movie. Yeah, nice. Uh, Bobo, what, did, what was your favourite? What do you think about My favourite part thing? was the grilled cheese part towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> where the two, uh, the two chicks that are high on Molly that yeah. return to the party where the three uh, beanbag boys, which is the name of the... The good boys, I guess. Um, are kind of like chilling out at the party, and they're like they decide to make grilled cheese, and then they completely get sidetracked and start talking to other people. And one of the kids is just like, "So we're not doing grilled cheese?" Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that joke because that is so my kind of that's yeah. my kind of humor. Yeah. So I really, I really enjoyed that joke. And I, I think it's also really, really relatable to our upbringing as well because yeah. I guess still has a thing about Ev- everyone. Also, not only that, everyone loves a grilled cheese, but not only that, everyone's had those moments where they've been like. A, 
there's been an agreement to do something and then everyone else has forgotten except for you. Yeah, there's, yeah. You, that happens so often to so many people. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. and you just like, in and that you moment, don't want to bring it up. You don't want to bring it up, right? It's just like, it's just like, oh, so we're not, we're not getting pizza. <laughs> we're not that kind of thing. It's like, oh, we're, we're not, we're not going to go, we're not going to go to the shops. Is that, what, <laughs> is that like, what's happening now? Yeah, because yeah. you yeah. still want to, yeah, you yeah. still want to do it. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's very relatable and I really, really enjoyed that joke. So that was my, yeah. that was my favorite part for me. Totally great. Yeah, uh, ju- just jumping on that, like I do, I do enjoy the relatability of it and i guess that's one thing that i enjoy over kind of a lot of seth rogan films is that relatability because like not a lot of films that they have besides i guess this is the end um most of them are like kind of really based in reality and it's really kind of you could see this actually happening in like a it's like it's it's heightened it's a heightened reality very very Set, it's set it's recognizable. Yeah, yep. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll pay that. Um, so yeah, so I really like that. I mean, it's it was good to see the kind of the three different three kids have like very different um, aspects to their characters and stuff. And like, I couldn't help but going like, oh, that was like this mate from back in primary school, and that was like this mate, and like all the attributes you could actually like pick apart and be like, yeah, yeah, like. I, I felt that as a kid or I know someone like that as a kid kind of thing. So that was, that was fun as well because it was so relatable. Um, and yeah, bro, man, I really, I really enjoyed the girls coming back around and being a part of the final and kind story. of being Cause like some of the group, they were yeah. just kind of random, really random at the start. And like, okay, they're just kind of two mean girls that want to have drugs or whatever. Like, okay, I guess they're, they're like, you know, stereotype villains kind of thing. But I did really like that it came around at the end and they're like, ah, oh, no, they are, they are finished. Because when they do finish the first time, they're just like, yeah, okay, we're good. just going to go off and do drugs now, bye. And you're like, oh, that's not not like a really good ending. So it was really kind of nice to see it come full circle. Um, yeah, sweet. All right. Most negative things about Most the film. Most negative things. Uh, Take it away, Jordan I was going to say, I'll King. go last because, again, okay. I've got... Take it away, yep. Angus Main. Well, okay, so, like, my my biggest <laughs> negatives are, I guess, probably there were, like, I know it's a very kind of stereotypical thing to do, but the sexualized jokes, there were mm. probably just a, a few too many. Like, it was funny when they found the sex doll and everything, but then afterwards when, like, they dressed up, and like used a dildo as nunchucks and like yeah it's too much like the, here's an anal bead the mask and like and yeah like that that was a bit that was a bit too much it was I think, the same I think, joke again yeah, and again yeah yeah. yeah 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 so I think they just kind of beat the a dead horse a bit on that one mm. there were like other jokes that I did really like and it was like f- for the most part kind of fresh like haven't seen kids that young do like jokes like that and like that was kind of a funny part yeah, but fair. um. Yeah, I think they just beat the dead horse a bit too much with the yep. um, with that. I know I don't even know what you'd say like like an R rating kind of a joke or like a the, like a very sexualized. That's a sexualized content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the theme, a, jo- a theme of a joke. It's like yeah, the, it's it. very much the same. It's almost the same joke over and over again, just worded differently or yeah, or yeah, yeah. played differently. And it's like it's. I think that they played on the kids being playing dumb a bit too much. I yeah. think it would have been like a lot. At the start, they were playing dumb to a lot of things, but I think it would have been good to kind of grow those characters so that now they're kind of being introduced into this adult world. Um, yes, bro, man, bro, 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 bro. My, bro. I really didn't like. Um, similar to you, I guess the recurring jokes of the stuff. I guess it was a weird film. Where there were moments in it that was meant to be very, like, do you remember this from your childhood type stuff? And it's like, and I could totally imagine someone having like, oh, that is so Mm. like what happened to me. But that was so not my childhood, if that makes sense. My childhood was so much, I don't know, nerdier than that, I guess. And it was just, and also because it was American, it was like American schools and all that stuff. And then it was all modern technology. They had like drones and all this stuff. So there wasn't that pull for me that was like, do you remember? Like the nostalgia wasn't there for me. I think the only scene that got me nostalgia wise is when they're all like pissed at each other and they go into the party, but the mum answers the door and they were like, hi, Mrs. Whatever. And then they go in and then they immediately go back to being like angry. I'm like, yeah, "Yeah, I remember meeting the parents. Like you got to 
you got on that be, friendly be, face. Yeah, be nice to the parents. <laughs> like yeah. calling the parents like, hi, can I speak to Brody? Is Brody there, please? Like, I remember that sort of stuff. But they didn't play on that as much as I absolutely should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah, there was only a few moments that had that kind of nostalgia draw for me. And the rest was, like, the rest didn't hear me. And so I think that it fell very short for me in that mm. in mm. that aspect, unfortunately. Fair enough. Kane Diggity. Um, Hit us with it. Yeah, I guess I've got two main ones. And one of them we've touched on a lot already, which is this movie is one joke, just repeated. And that kind of annoys me. This movie is a funny joke, but it's a funny joke where I feel like three guys who make movies were like, wouldn't it be funny to have like, do like a super bad thing except their kids. And instead of it being like, you know, a party with alcohol, it's like they go on to like, you know, a birthday party and... Like, ha ha A kissing party. But it shouldn't have made it past that because you can't derive enough from that to make a whole movie. Mm. Just because the joke is they're young and therefore they don't understand everything. So we're going to chuck like innocent, like childhood based things and then drop an F-bomb. Or we're going to have kids pick up something that's sexual or R-rated and for them to misuse it because they don't get it. That's funny twice. It doesn't last for an hour and a half Mm. for me. The first two times I was like, ha and that was it. And the, those first few times were in the movie, uh, in the trailer, right? So there's that, which it was just, as you said, it's beating a dead horse. It's, look, kids, but a sex toy. And they're great. And then they did that. And it was like, look, something that is childhood-like, but we'll drop an F-bomb in the middle. So Taco Tuesday. But instead of it being Taco Tuesday, it's Taco fucking Tuesday. Great. They swore. Cool. I don't care. Um... And then bad foreshadowing, which just really annoyed me because the first 15 minutes was just them telling me how this movie was going to end. It was like, we're playing cards. Remember this card that we all bought together that's a cherished memory but is also worth exactly this much money? Wow. And we will never sell this for anything. And then the next shot is the dad like, now son, here's my really, really expensive drone worth exactly this much money. Promise not to touch it. I promise, dad. Wow. Fuck, cool. Who, to who be could fair, possibly... Though, they didn't sell the card. I'm not sure if you were awake for that part, but they didn't sell the card, which mm. is quite nice. I don't but it's just... It, <laughs> it was still 40 minutes of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revolving around that. And it was nearly... It was an hour and a half of the movie revolving around the drone and the card. Yeah. I don't, like... Since I knew all of it... And then it was like, I've never kissed a girl. Hey, tomorrow night there's a kissing party. Great. I know everything that's going to happen in this movie. I know what's going to go wrong. I know how they're going to solve it, and I know what's going to happen at the end. Yeah. And, like, you know, there's a kid that's like, I love singing, and then he gets bullied. He's like, I guess I don't love singing anymore, but I secretly want to sing. Cool. I know how they're going to end the movie. I'd- yeah, I would, I would say this movie is definitely, like, an easy watch. It's probably, like, a movie that you could chuck on in the background and come back at any point in time and be like, okay, I know where we are. I know exactly the, where we are in the storyline kind of thing. The negative for that for me, though, is it's fine to have a simplistic plot in like a comedy but the jokes have to land if you're going to be like look the plot isn't really going to be much mm. but you're going for the humor a lot the of the humor- jokes did land for the rest of the people in the cinemas I know and you were asleep and I just wasn't y- enjoying myself oh well <laughs> I wasn't asleep that much but the point is, is I can only I can only review this from my perspective yeah, yeah. and yeah. from I, my perspective yeah. like I, can, I can't review this from a point of someone that really enjoyed the movie, I'm yeah. reviewing it from someone yeah, who really enjoyed the movie, who, fell asleep. who didn't enjoy the movie, yeah. because it just none of the jokes landed. Did you from, yeah. enjoy the movie or did you not enjoy the movie? None of the jokes landed for me, and okay. the story was boring Jordan and predictable. It, and he thought it was the best movie of the year. Fair enough. Those are my bad negatives. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. No, I I get that. I think a lot of the jokes did um did land for me. Like apart from the kind of sexualized jokes, there were other jokes. Like for instance, like in the final montage, I thought it was really funny and like kept bre- like they, dating a girl like he kept up. on like breaking up with a girl yeah. and finding another girl I'm like I fucking know someone like yeah, that yeah, from yeah, primary school that does like that, that yeah. right. <laughs> like yeah. um, and I like things like that that were kind of a little insight into that reality I'm like yeah that I, I, I did really enjoy that mm. Sweet. Okay. I guess uh, that's where we'll end this uh, podcast on the good boys. We're back, baby. Yeah. yeah. Back to our regular scheduled programming. Next week, we'll be reviewing another new movie coming out in the cinemas. Kane Dogs, what are we watching? Rambo, another one. He's Rambo. probably got a bow. He's going to kill someone, I guess. Rambo the 12th? 13th. Rambo. Not sure. Uh, this is the 5th. 5th. Rambo 5. Cool. Sweet. 
Rambo. Let's see if Sylvester Stallone still got it. Rambo steroids? He does. He's still he's, got all he's of them. still got steroids. Okay, good. Rambo, not another Rambo. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, uh, stay tuned for that one. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Thank you for listening to Film Slice Podcast. That was The Good Boys. It Next was. week, these three good boys and uh, Octopus Man over here, we're reviewing. <laughs> Rambo. Classic we're as re- always, Octopus Man. Octopus Man, we're reviewing. No, just say Rambo. <laughs> Lean into the mic. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed that, there's less of it next week. <laughs> <laughs>